I'm Linda from The Home I Create, and welcome back for the One Room Challenge Final Reveal, hosted if, by Linda from Calling It Home. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out my channel, kind of, you know, gives me a little bit of boost and know that you guys actually like the content I'm putting out so I can, you know, just be motivated to make more videos, right? So, and hit the notification bell and everything else. If you want to know where anything is in this room, please, 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 please go check out the full blog post. I have all the sources on there. I've gotten so many questions already about this rug. So again, anything you're looking for in the room, I have everything linked on the blog post, plus lots of pretty photos. So be sure to check out the full blog post. Now, Along the last five weeks, we've been going week by week, you guys, on working on this room. It's been a lot of decluttering, decorating, and DIYing to get this room looking the way it does in such a short time. You guys know by last week I was a little bit all over the place, very, very panicked whether I was going to be done or not, and still had a lot of decisions up in the air like the mirror, for example, that you might be able to see behind me. Now, let's get started on this room reveal. All right, friends, so here we are in the room. I am sorry, I'm hoping this is enough lighting. It looks like it's dark outside. It's not even five o'clock yet. So I don't know what's going on, but let's just take a general look at the room. To say this room came out like I wanted to, you guys, is an understatement. This room came out so beautiful beyond my expectations. You guys know I started this out with a very tiny budget and here we are f five weeks later with a room that you couldn't tell. So the, I want to say I think the biggest thing in the room is the dresser. So let's take a look at that. This was not part of the original plan if you guys remember. This was about week three I realized those open shelves I originally had on my design board was not gonna work I needed more storage because the closet was a bit more filled up than I thought it would be so I got this off Facebook marketplace for a hundred dollars you know a little bit of elbow grease and paint and it's beautiful you guys might remember last week I was wondering okay what should I do with the mirror should I put it over my desk well I decided that the computer would probably cover too much of it so I have it over here I have these cute pagoda lamps that I found in Clarence at home goods for $40 each and there was no way I was passing them by you guys know I love Shinrazui style and these were just too cute to pass by so do you guys recognize the $2 suit terrine if you saw my thrift store haul video you know this was a piece that was a little quirky and I'm so glad I got it and it's beautiful right now holding these orchids that I got from Trader Joe's and not much else on here you guys I have this nice little art print that I got from Hobby Lobby you guys probably cannot see what that says but it's my blog award I won a blog award this year from Amara they do an interior blog awards every year and I got the best design inspiration blog this year. I wasn't able to make the award ceremony in London so they mailed it to me and I got it today. And here is the Doxa table you guys. I am so happy I went with this table. It is clean. It provides a huge surface space so I can do crafts on here you know the kids can do homework while I'm in here just even board games anything so I am super happy with this table it's it perfect and remember I got this in the as-is section I still got to share my little tip for cleaning it up with you guys because you can't even tell it's not a new table and you can see it's not it doesn't feel crowded plenty of room to walk around that table on either side of the closet there you guys I have my gold chest and they fit when I say to the inch on either side of the closet where the closet can still open completely and here are the silhouettes you guys I love having them in here things like this really add a personal touch when you're decorating a room we had them done at Disney a few years ago when we went on a family trip and literally the lady just did it by hand the lady even got Kayla's little ponytails I was just amazed this rug might be 
literally one of my favorite things in the room it was a last minute purchase it was on clearance and I was just like I have to have this rug it literally makes the room you guys I wish I can get a better picture of it but because it's a faded style it's a little bit harder but as you can see it has like pinks, purples, blue, yellow, hints of orange, some brown, some gray. I mean, all kinds of colors in here, you guys. And I just love what it does for the room because the room is very neutral overall. I'm happy I'm finally able to use my tobacco leaf lamp. I've had it for years and, you know, just never had the right spot for it. it it's just perfect. And that's it, you guys. Some other little accessories. I have some matches and candles, a family photo, my phone. That phone holder, you guys, is literally the best thing I've gotten on Amazon for in a long time. It was like less than ten dollars, and it has a little slot so you can put your charger through it. It's perfect. I've linked to it on the blog, you guys. Everything that I could find, I link to in case you're looking for something. Because I know when I do a reveal like this, everyone is um. <laughs> you know always like where'd you get this where'd you get that so I try to link as many things as possible to help you guys find what you're looking for so happy to have a dedicated desk again guys but this is what I have going on in the shelf here a little bit of greenery some books for height some quirky little item and I have of course one of my blue and white jars this cute little frame came from Hobby Lobby again you guys I have everything linked on the blog you guys see it? I'm sorry you guys the day bread is not as fresh as it was when I was photographing yesterday the kids have jumped on it the cats have gotten on it so at this point it's not as fresh but as you can see what I have going on not the pillow plan I shared with you guys before but very simple two big euro shams two bolsters and a nice comfy throw which will be great just for lounging but of course once I have company I'll remove those and use a regular sheet set in a size bed it actually fits perfectly in here great for lounging um, like I said the kids already took advantage of it yesterday remember you guys the curtains were like kind of a bit of a headache I went with my favorite white IKEA curtains they are simple they let light in they work beautifully with the curtain rod that I spray painted gold 